audience, you guys don't actually hear all my instructions. So we are recording this. All right. So for today's class, I'm going to share my screen with you guys. Um, bear with me if it's acting a little bit slow or if I'm glitchy a little bit. Um, for today's class, we are going to start by going over the Fables handout. Um, you submitted that. When we go over this, if you want to add to your document, you totally can. The points that you're getting for this homework assignment are just that you attempted to write thematic statements and that you attempted to display some sort of evidence for that with a lead-in, okay? Um, if you didn't fill something out, that's when you'll get points taken off. But if you filled it out, right or wrong, I'm going to give you points, okay? Um, so don't stress, but please do add correct things to the assignment as we're talking about it, okay? If you notice your thematic statement is completely off from what I said, or you wrote it in a way that maybe doesn't actually match what a thematic statement should say, you should add that to your document so you have examples. Um, if you just want to add to it because you want extra examples, feel free to do that, okay? Um, once you do that, we are going to talk about your CDW progress assessment, okay? Um, you will have some of class today to start on this. I will go over the prompt. Um, I gave you a handout for lead-ins and transitional phrases. Um, this is the same one I gave you last semester at the end of the semester, so you might find it very familiar. Um, please download it if you need it. I also gave you a graphic organizer if you're somebody who likes to use those to kind of organize your thoughts before typing stuff up, okay? Um, you will have some time in class on Tuesday to finish some stuff up, some finishing touches. I'm thinking I'll give you like 10, maybe 15 minutes on Tuesday if you need to MLA formatting stuff or just real quick read through, edit some wording, but you're not gonna have tons of time to write, okay? So if you're like, I can write my paragraph in 15 minutes in class, that might not be your best idea, okay? So um, use the long weekend to write a good paragraph for this progress assessment. It will be due on day one, so that is that. Are there any questions about what we're gonna do in class today? No? Okay, why don't you guys go ahead and download these couple of things right now so that way they're there and ready for you when we get to them. And then I'll pull up this Fables handout as well so that way we can get started with talking about those. So again, you're just gonna download these three things so you have them for when we get to them. And when you have those things downloaded, please send a chat saying ready. All right, thank you for the few people who have sent me chats already. Again, download the three things and then tell me when you're ready. Molly. Yeah. Um. Hello, can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, okay, yeah. I got kicked off, I think. Um, so let's go back into the document. Sorry, guys. Um, okay, Molly, can you re-say your thematic statement? I'm so sorry. Yeah, Okay. in the fable, the milkmaid and her pail, the theme of getting lost in your imagination while doing important work can lead to your plans being ruined is communicated. Okay, very good. Okay, so we'll say, um, the theme of getting lost in your imagination while doing important work. Whoops. Work can lead to, what was the last part, Molly? Your plans being ruined. Plans being ruined. All right. I'm going to say the theme. Um, I'm going to say demonstrates the theme, so that way it sounds a little bit better for flow-wise. Demonstrates the theme of getting lost your imagination while doing. Okay, very good. Um, so yeah, you could totally say that this one's kind of like daydreaming or um, like planning 
far ahead in the future um, and then having that get ruined because you're not actually doing anything, right? Like you're still at stage one. So don't get too caught up in your ambition. Um, very good. All right, let's get one more in here. Um, let's hear from, let's see, Mello. Mello, what is your thematic statement? In the fable, the milkmaid and her pale theme is pay attention to what's in the moment or bad things could happen later on. Very good. Okay. Okay. In the fable, the milkmaid or pale, the theme. Okay. Can you say it slowly for me, Mello, so I can type it up too? Pay attention to what's in the moment. what's in the moment okay or bad things could happen later on bad things later on. okay very good so both of these kind of dealing with like getting caught up in um the future getting caught up in all the possibilities and not actually focusing on the moment that you're in um both totally work so paying attention to what's in the moment or bad things. Something of that. This one should say pay attention. Pay attention to what's in the moment or bad things will happen later on. Very good. Okay, so let's get a piece of evidence for this. Um, let's have Mello. Mello, why don't you tell me what is your piece of evidence that you used? Uh, I said the milkmaid was worrying about what she was going to get from her milk pail, not paying attention when she trips and has nothing left. So did you quote anything from that mellow or did you just summarize it? I just summarized it. Okay, cool. So the milkmaid was um, thinking, uh, you said thinking about getting what? What she was gonna get from her milk pail. What she was going to get from her milk pail. Okay. And then what else did you say? And, she, and not paying attention when she trips and has nothing left. Trips and have nothing left. Okay, perfect. So, what's awesome is that you guys also, and Melo kind of demonstrated this with this, is that you guys also have the option of just summarizing your evidence, right? And then that kind of combines both your lead in and evidence into one thing. From here, you would then go into actually explaining how this situation, her action of kind of like daydreaming and then tripping demonstrates this idea of like you need to focus on like what's actually happening and then you can worry about the other stuff later um so that is also an option for you guys is simply summarizing your evidence instead of directly quoting it okay so hopefully this helps kind of make clear the idea of like this is what a thematic sh statement should be you need to make sure it's phrased in this sort of manner have not only um the author's name and title in this but you also need to know like what topic is being conveyed and what do i learn about that topic okay now when we move into actually writing about theme and writing a full-on paragraph your thematic statement is going to turn into your claim and then your purpose of your paragraph is simply explaining how that was created okay through whatever evidence you give so i'm going to go into the actual um assignment for your progress assessment now. So go ahead and click on the prompt and instructions one. Um, I'll pull it up here. It's gonna be a PDF. Um, and I'll walk you through this. And then you'll have some time to work, okay? All right, give me a thumbs up when you have the theme analysis paragraph uh, assessment on your screen, you're looking at it. Wonderful. Give people another like 15 seconds. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna start talking to you guys through this. So for this theme analysis paragraph progress assessment, it is gonna be worth a total of 15 points, one five, okay? It will be due on day one of next week. Your task for this is to write a CDW paragraph formatted um, in MLA that deals with a theme in Kamenyaka's poem, Avarice, okay? So you are actually going to state the theme of Avarice and explain how it was created in the poem, okay? Or explain why that's the theme. 
So this is a progress assessment. So don't stress fully about this. Um, it is intended as practice for you and also provides me with information um, about how you're doing. And I can then give you feedback before we get to a test or um, an actual essay, okay? Um, your goal is simply to demonstrate your personal best writing abilities at this point, as well as to what extent you understand what a theme is and how it is formed in a text. So the prompt itself, what are you answering in this paragraph? What important theme is conveyed by Yusuf Kamanyaka in his poem, Avarice? That is the prompt, very simple. So your whole goal is simply to tell me what the theme is and explain how you got to that conclusion, okay? So to fully answer this prompt, you must not only state what the theme is, but exactly what was done to convey that message. So you could focus in on um, the word choices that he uses. You could focus in on the actions of the girl in every stanza. Um, you could do lots of stuff here. So it's up to you what you wanna use for evidence, um, but you do need to provide evidence. Just as always, your paragraph should be in CDW format. So you have to have a clear and concise uh, claim that's written in the format of a thematic statement. So your thematic statement will be your claim. That's one sentence. Then you need a piece of data that's introduced using a lead-in and ends with an MLA citation, which will be one to two sentences. You need a warrant that fully explains how that evidence provided helps in revealing or understanding the theme of the poem, which should be roughly three to four sentences. And then you need one conclusion sentence that adequately summarizes the main point of the paragraph. So somewhere between six to eight sentences. That is not that bad. You guys were writing like 10 to 15 sentence paragraphs last semester. So I think you'll find this uh, go pretty quickly. I did give you at the bottom here how you'll go about writing your in-text citation for the poem. Um, if you are quoting multiple lines of poetry, you will have a slash in between each line break. Okay, um, and there's an example of that down here. Um, this slash means that these two things are on separate lines in the poem. So this is line 11 and this is line 12. Okay. Um, it's saying my connection is unstable. Can you guys hear me? Can you give me a thumbs up if you can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, cool. Kind of like it's a little glitchy. Okay, well, I am recording yeah. this. You can always go back and re-listen. I'll post it um, later today. If you guys are quoting something that comes from separate stanzas, so remember in this poem specifically, some of the sentences end on different stanzas. So if you're doing that, you'll use double slashes instead. So say line 11 happened in stanza one, line 12 happened in stanza two, you would have a double slash here, okay? Instead of just the one. Um, you don't have to worry about giving the title of the poem or the author's name in your parentheses, just give the line numbers, okay? Because we're just working with one text. So that's all you have to worry about doing. So that is your prompt, okay? Very simple. You guys should already have a rough thematic statement if you wanna make it sound better um, or run it by me, you totally can. And then you're just explaining like, how did you come to that conclusion? So utilize your annotations for this. Okay, that is the purpose of having those. Are there any questions about this prompt? Any questions? All right, well, you guys have the rest of class to work on this, so about 15 or so minutes. Um, you're out of here at 1240. Please stay in here while working. Um,